Good morning guys. Today we are going to talk about uh, the volume and surface area finding pyramids, cones and spheres at hemisphere. We are going to talk about solids, uh, empty cone, uh, empty hemisphere, uh, solid hemisphere, all sort of things we are going to talk about it, right? Okay. So when come to the pyramid, right? Then come to the pyramid. So I can draw like this, right? So okay. So this is going to be right pyramid in a sense, right? Now you can see this is the square base, right? You can find a square base, right? Okay, and this is uh, the four triangular faces and one square face in the bottom. The square face in the bottom, and there are four triangular faces uh, given, right? So if it, this is always comes as solid, there won't be a problem in that. In this, uh, they want to find the volume in the sense. Volume is equal to 1 over 3 into base area into height. So height in the sense that is going to be from the top, from the top it comes to where the diameter or diagonal of the square where it meet that is the height. So this part is the height of the pyramid. So where the diagonals of the square meeting point from there the height the maximum peak of the edge the all four edges where they're joining that is the point or vertex where the top vertex of the pyramid to the point of diagonals where they are meeting right so the ba 1 over 3 volume is equal to 1 over 3 into base area multiplied by height okay the surface area surface area right is going to be the square base right so area of the base area of the base plus area of four triangles that's mean a triangle from here triangle from here triangle on this side and so so area of the triangle you can find it using half into base into height or later next you will study the sign rule and things like that using the sign rule and things like that also you can find so area of the base total surface area area of the base plus area of four triangles okay that is going to be the solid pyramid okay pyramid they will ask you volume and the surface area only but when come to cone right cone right the cone you get two different thing right here this is going to be the height this is going to be radius this is this is going to be slant height l is going to be the slant height that's mean the slanted part length of the triangle cone right from the edge from this uh, the circumference of the circle you get that right the height is from the midpoint of the circle that means the center from the circle and go to the top vertex of the point of the core that is the height so here volume is not a problem 1 over 3 into pi r squared area of the base that means pi r squared into h volume is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared into h is the volume so h is the height r is the radius and 1 over 3 pi r squared into h then when come to here we will find curved surface area curved surface area csa curved surface area that means only that bottom part of the circular part is the flat the curved part is equal to pi into r into l that means pi into r into the slant height will be the curved surface area of the core 
In this also, if they ask total surface area of the solid cone, if they ask you the solid cone, if they say a word called solid cone, right? When a solid cone in the sense, total surface area, that's mean total surface area is, it's an empty cone, empty cone in the sense, it's just, when you roll a paper, you get only the curved part inside, you will know, hollow. But the solid, you will be getting everything full. So there will be a bottom part, there is a circular part, and the curved surface area. Therefore, it's going to be pi r squared, bottom part of the circle, plus pi into r into l. Total surface area of a solid cone. This is the special thing you have to keep and remember. Because when they use a word called solid, a solid cone, sometimes a cone made using a solid, something like that. They Anyhow, they will include that particular solid thing in the sense, you must know the total surface area will be curved surface area and the bottom part of the circle area also right okay this is the another important point can you remember when last video i was when i was teaching i said the cylinder cylinder tin solid cylinder so when the cylinder pipe in the sun only a curved surface area 2 pi r into h when the tin in the sun 2 pi r h plus pi r squared the solid in the sun 2 pi r h into 2 pi r squared. I can remember I have done this task. So always I'll say this. These kind of wordings are most, most important. You all have to be very careful when this kind of finding surface area, curved surface area, total. Normally when they say total surface area, then indirectly they are talking about the solid. Curved surface area in the sense only the curved part. Like that there are so many indirect hint or indirect wording or we call another way we call these things are technical terms are used in these kind of questions okay guys then i'm going to talk about spheres right next i'm going to talk about spheres so you all hope that you all can get it that okay so the sphere in the sense you know it's a tennis ball right so the sphere is there's no issue the volume is going to be 4 over 3 into pi into r cube radius into 3 times. 3 times radius will be multiplied. Then the surface area, surface area also 4 into pi into r square. That means a sphere will be equal to 4 times of a circular radius. The same circular radius will be equal to the surface area of the sphere. Right? So, to full sphere, that means whole sphere, always cover everything. They, we don't bother about it's made out of solid or it looks like a tennis ball or nothing is nothing to worry about it. Because only they will ask about uh, solid, uh, the whole sphere, they talk about volume or the surface area only. In that case, there won't be problem. But when come to hemisphere, right, half sphere, half sphere, or hemisphere they will say in the half sphere only the problem now if it's like look like a tennis ball this will be empty right the tennis ball this will be empty inside you can just fill with something else but the volume will be not be a problem half into right 4 over 3 into pi into r cube that also not a problem so this and this cancel off it's going to be 2 over 3 pi into r cube is the volume of the hemisphere, right? So, surface area or curved surface area, here also curved surface area in the sense it's going to be 2 into pi into r square. That means only this curved part, right? If they say solid, solid hemisphere, in the sense solid the word called solid right most important when the solid comes then this part will be a solid circular part right it part will be filled with some material solid inside so it's going to be total surface area is going to be 2 pi r squared is the curve part this part is 2 pi r squared plus this going to be pi r squared pi r squared is going to be 
3 pi into r square, right? So, if it is a hemisphere, if the hollow in the sense, only the curved surface area, hollow or empty hemisphere, solid in the sense, total surface area will be 3 pi r square. That's most of Sometimes they, they don't say solid. Iron, high end hemisphere, high iron hemisphere. So, oh, they will say copper, lead, something like that. Because those kind of material you can't make it, uh, they, they will make it solid. So, they will fill it, right? Or the iron ball cut into half, iron ball cut into half, iron sphere ball cut into half. These kind of wordings, they will make you to confuse, right? So, here, first we are talking about the pyramid. And the pyramid volume is equal to 1 over 3 into base area into height. Then the surface area is base area plus 4 times area of the triangle. So some of the all four triangle area. Then we talk about the cone. The cone you got uh, the volume is not a problem 1 over 3 into pi r squared into h. But when you come to the surface area or curved surface area you will use the slant height. H is the vertical height of the cone, L is the slant height, don't confuse that. Then you will talk about the curved surface area, pi into R into L. Then next we talk about the surface area of the solid cone in the sense you will get it, uh, hemisphere as well as uh, this thing you will get it. That, okay. So next is going to be the uh, sphere, and sphere is going to be 4 over 3 pi R cube. Then so, surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared same time you will get it that something like hemisphere or half sphere is going to be 2 over 3 pi r cube and it's curved surface area 2 pi r squared and the solid is going to be uh, total surface area is going to be 3 pi r squared these all informations are uh, always needed when come to solid finding area volume surface area curve surface area total surface area uh, pipe tin these kind of wordings are most important that is what I'm again and again I'm talking about these things because I know how this important and how the students and children they misuse because of this how many students they have missed their results and how they are uh, low grade themselves by getting uh, lower marks by uh, not to get considering these wordings and things like that right now first i'm going to do a question which is uh, finding the volume of the right so it's going to be uh, this thing right then we'll be making the right okay fine so here they are given the height this height is given is going to be h is going to be given 12 centimeter and this is going to be 8 and this is going to be 10 centimeter right then they are asking to find the volume volume is equal to 1 over 3 into base area 8 into 10 8 into 10 into height is going to be 12 so this is going to be 3 and it's going to be 4 so 4 uh, into 832 320 centimeter cube or something like that you get, right if they ask you to find the uh, surface area uh, here it's it should be a huge thing to be done because here it's like now you have to find the height of that this height is not the height so these kind of things then what you will do you have to find uh, this length using that sign rule cost rule so many things but here they don't ask you because these are different values if it is something is like uh, 10 and 10 it's suppose like it's going to be like another example this also 10 in the sense right another example pyramid is going to be 10 and 10 in the sense so then it's going to be 12 in the sense 10 into 10 into 12 or 3 is going to be 400 in the sense you can find the 400 right then this is 10 this is 10 and we can find the square root of that then you can find that part and height and this thing half is using that you can find this length and this length is there and so we can this and we can find that so many things are there so they will give you i don't say they don't give they will give you but according to that we will practice and when come to the exam papers and things that we will practice that depending on uh, what kind of paper you are doing right okay then example then when come to the 
core, right? Another example, they are given this is going to be 5 centimeter and this is going to be 12 centimeter. This is they are given L, right? So they said, find the total surface area of the cone, show that, right? The uh, this thing. So then, total surface area, when find the total surface area of the cone, then we know that it's going to be a solid. So we know to find, we need to find this using Pythagoras theorem. I have told you this is going to be 13. Can you remember, you guys, I have given you the Pythagoras theorem 3, 4, 5, 12, 5, 13, then it's going to be 6, 8, and 10. These kind of things I have given the relationship. Then 3, 3 are 9, 3, 4 are 12, 15, uh, 9, uh, 12, 15. So many things I have given like that. So in the relationship, how they will arrange, I told you to keep all those things, 3, 4, 5, then uh, 8, 6, 10, then it's going to be uh, 12, 5, 13, then it's going to be uh, th 9 and 12 is going to be 15, something like that. You can use it all the stuff, right? Okay, so you can use the Pythagoras theorem, you can find that. So it's going to be L, L is going to be 12 squared plus 5 squared, and square root of that is going to be 169, is going to be 13. So now we can find total surface area is going to be T S K, then it's going to be solid pi into R is going to be 5 into L is going to be 13 plus pi into R squared is going to be 25 or 5 squared. So when you're using the calculator, right, you can find them, right? At one shot, always you have to take the calculator at last, right? So shift pi multiplied by 5 into 13, right, plus uh, square root shift 5 into 25, close the bracket, you get 282.75. Centimeter squared. Okay, so next, uh, I hope you can understand a permit. And uh, next, I did a cone. And if you did that, only the curved surface area and so only this is enough. But the total surface area they are asking, right? Okay, so you can see that how the Pythagoras theorem is used. I have given four sets of values. Always, I'm, I'm asking you to keep this all in the sense. Always, these four sets in between these four sets only, all the Pythagoras theorem will be asked in the exam. So, nothing to worry about it, man. The exam pattern is limited in some certain area. So, you all have to understand which area it is limited. Not that you all have to do it something like all and things like that. There are certain secrets are there, right? Okay. So, in like that, you can find all the stuff. And next, I'm going to talk about uh, another example, right? Uh, which is the sphere. We'll talk about the sphere, right? Then when come to the sphere, right? They have given a square ball of a volume. They have given volume is equal to 33 centimeter cubic seats, right? Find the radius and the surface area. So we are finding now they are given the volume they have given, right? And they are asking us to find the so radius. So V is equal to, right? 1 over 3 into pi into r cube, right? So now it's going to be 33 is equal to 1 over 3 into 3.142 into r cube. So r cube is going to be 33 multiplied by 3 over 3.142. So then what you will do, take the calculator at once, the cubic root, right? So then you shift. You put the cubic root, open the bracket, then you will say 33 multiplied by 3, right? Then that divide by 3.142, close the bracket, you get 3.16. R is going to be 3.16, okay? 33 into 3, divide by 3.142, and shift cubic root, answer 3.16. Radius. Now they are asking the surface area. Surface area is equal to 4 into pi into r squared. So 4 into 3.142 into 3.16 squared. So now you can find uh, 3.16 squared multiplied by 
um, 3.142 multiply by shift and file you get the value 98.57 centimeters carry the surface area of the sphere so the different different approach in the different different way how you will get oh sorry I made a mistake here sorry I'm sorry guys I, I actually I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry so this is actually volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi into r cube so it's going to be 33 into 3 over 4 into pi is equal to r cube so it's going to be 33 multiplied by 3 so divide by 4 into pi you get answer almost uh, r cube is equal to 7.88 so cubic root and answer you get 1.99 r is equal to 1.99 almost then it's going to be uh, surface area is going to be right uh, 4 into 3.142 into 1.99 square so 1.99 square multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 4 you get the value it's going to be 49.79 centimeters square okay guys so these are different kind of sorry guys i was like i forgot to put the 4 so 103 now you have corrected that right look at uh, that and you can see that the, how the questions are applied right so always that you allow to keep remember the things that how the equations are used what are the equations are there and where and when you have to use it those stuff and things like that that's enough to find all that as the question for you all and you all can do it and that that you will get the similar, similar shares then uh, similar volume and things like the next then we can go to the next chapter and functions and things like that. Hope we make it soon and we'll try to work it out fast as possible, right? Okay. Uh, so I I I think the enough that discussion what I gave you all is uh, so there are questions. If any questions you all can come across problems or difficulties, you all can come back to me or you can upload uh, your doubts in my, the group, the class group. So I'll be doing or otherwise i'll be discussing in the um, our zoom class meetings okay thank you very much guys have a nice time bye bye